What's up guys, this is Heiss, and today Khan's got a crazy idea for a line to build to the coal mine. So it's gonna be a building episode, let's get into it. And today, Heiss and I, we are, we're at the coal mine. Heiss, we have made it uh, to the coal mine. I mean, we have. No trains yes. have, there's no track. Look at this this piece of track. But, well, this, this is the one piece of track, because this apparently you can't, you can't stand on the, the actual chute itself. Yeah. I so think the, go the goal is to rerail Betsy up here, right? And just, pff, oh my go. god, can you imagine? And then just like <laughs> have it as a statue or whatever. It's like, this is the Betsy, Betsy, Betsy of coal the mine. coal mine. Yes, that'd be, that, um, that'd be the vibe. But yeah, so we're going to connect from the iron ore mine to the coal mine today. And Good we're going to literally us. do it as that. Um, it's going to be probably 10% at the iron ore mine because that seems smart. And yeah. uh, we already have a helper station there anyway, so we'll just get bigger helpers. And... That way we don't have to go like i've done the route up the valley on the right side of the map before it's a beautiful route it's pretty there's a river there it takes a long time to run it um and so we figured this will be a little bit more direct coal mine straight to iron mine straight to smelter and then boom, back to boom, all boom i like the it. other yeah all in a line so i'm gonna go to the iron mine start working on that side of things and i'm gonna make the coal mine into an industry ice is gonna build the coal mine into an industry holy cow you actually cleared out all the trees of the iron mine Alrighty. i did give you some space to work man what else yeah is i gonna do i mean that's fair it's it's fair i'm gonna um it's gonna we could actually we should probably build another it's only had smaller switches we could build like another runaround track at the iron mine you know wouldn't that be sick that would be sick. Once again, like day day three hundred sixty uh, nine million thousand of asking for bigger switches or yeah, smaller switches. Another, <laughs> another another small switch. Yeah, that'd yeah. be sick. Uh, Man, these I'm this? gonna be I'm getting an aneurysm from these platforms at the coal mine. Just oh, the fact that they're not lined up. No, nothing. Yeah. Nothing's lined up. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing makes they're, any sense. They're just slightly off. Like I could build another switch there. That's fine. The... We'll, we'll just. Uh, uh, I don't. No, it's not fine. It is not fine. I was gonna just make it an S bend, but that kills me on the inside. So we're we're just gonna do slightly out of alignment to make it align all three of them. I guess. That's the move. I've decided. I know what I'm gonna do. Um. In the meantime, okay. while we're here, what are you doing? I put an engine shed at the iron mine, just cause. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Oh, no, we, yeah. Oh. If. If we're truly doing 10%, yeah, we gonna want Yeah, that. I mean, it would probably, I mean, the sanding, I guess, well, I guess the iron mine actually would need a whole facility then, right? Oh. I'm gonna do this after. I'm gonna build the line first and then figure out. Because we would need, we, you wouldn't, I guess, I mean, you wouldn't necessarily have sand at the iron, but you'd fill up with sand at the helper station before you even come up here, so. Yeah, and, and I mean, actually, what you really do as a railroad, I mean, you would service your engine at a facility and have it sanded for the day you wouldn't need to like sand at the helper station unless the helper lived there and it was a its own setup and then of right. course yeah you'd get sand there but you know the, so realistically the sand sand sand. everything at the <laughs> freight depot before we even leave and then yeah the engines would be serviced before they go and then you know like the goat lives at the the, the uh, helper station and so okay that's its mechanical facility and we'd fill up with sand there and then that's how that works but right yeah you wouldn't need to do much beyond that Interesting. Well, we're gonna we're gonna ten percent it, because 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 why yeah. not? I mean, that's that's the move. I think. Yeah. You, you've got a helper station there. You know, just stage a couple engines there, and when you're running up the six and a half percent, bring an extra engine, and then. <laughs> yeah. Then when you go up the ten percent, it's like, good God, bring all the engines. And... Yeah. Yeah. I'm playing uh, Tree Chopping Simulator 1895 once again. Ah, yes. Yes, it's a great these, game. Uh, these these trees are some thick boys, these pines. I was so yeah. used to those little skinny, uh, whatever they were, aspens or birch trees. And uh, yeah, So what's, these your, are... what's your thought of the uh, the coal mine layout? Are you, what are you Do you think you're going to have room to do like a whole loop? Come I back around? Think I'm go I don't know if I'm going to do a loop. I don't like loops. I mean, operationally, I don't, I don't they're either, nice, but... but... I, I can it is a big a... industry. The coal mine has a lot more space than the iron mine here, so you could really do like 17 wide lanes if you really wanted to. Not that we'd need it, but I'm probably gonna do a couple wide shunt lanes. Maybe put a little facility in with a turntable and uh, and an engine shed or something just for fun, because we're pretty remote. This is like this is gonna be our furthest terminal for a long time, so right. we'd probably have engines live here if we were. And like you would have water and all that stuff. But... So so I'll probably do all that. I'll probably have enough width of lanes in the uh, the yard to be able to take 
you know, a couple long trains. Because we're going to be hopefully supplying this thing and hopefully running pretty long coal trains out of it. So, Right. Not for a while, obviously, but soon enough. Someday. I don't know if I gave myself enough room to clear this, but we'll find out, I guess. I'm trying to figure out where to put the throat I of the thought. yard right now, where it, where it needs to start. And I guess it depends. I get to set that, so you have to figure out where to put your track in. And I, there's a bit of a natural grade right through here, so I think that's what it means. Yeah, do. there's one spot where it gets super narrow at the... Um, so watch out for that. Like, obviously, we don't want to have to, you know... Oh, yeah. I'm seeing what's going on here. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? I'm I, seeing uh, there, There's, I like, a cut something. for sure. Do you want to go through the cut, or do you want to go around it? I don't know yet. I don't know where I'm going to end up when we get there. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to be really, really high up, so I'm going to have to come down a lot. Um, okay, so I won't build track, like, super far away, but I'm trying to figure out where I could put the earliest switch in my yard, and I think I'm going to put it pretty my much My hope is here. that, like we can have at the top of this mountain peak once I clear this mountain. My hope is that I can have like a helper station there, or not a helper station, but just a switch off so the helper engine can get off the track and then, you know, let the road engine take over and then hopefully have enough space um, so that the road engine, like, or not enough space, a, a shallow enough grade coming back up so that the road engine doesn't need a helper coming back from the coal mine. It just right. needs one to like clear just this one way. first hill drop yeah. the engine at the top of the pass and right yeah. and then and then have the helper that's my hope but i don't really know how this is gonna go because it's 10 percent. so you know yeah this is a this is a silly climb if we had like in real life okay if they wanted to do this in real life rather than go around the whole valley they would just drill a tunnel right they, they would make blow. cuts they'd make tunnels yeah because yeah, they just blow a big hole in the wall and call it a day even even making just like a small cut because i mean tunnels incur a lot of maintenance surprisingly so they really weren't common on a lot of narrow gauge properties the rio grande actually only had two on their whole system and they had you know probably six seven hundred miles plus track at least at their biggest um and the the two tunnels oddly enough still survived to this day on the cumbrace and toltec which is funny but they were like oh yeah this is a sheer cliff and it would be a ton to blast out and we can't make a curve around it so okay we're doing a tunnel but anything else like going over those saddles that you're going to be building over they would just make one big deep cut you know because they'd, they'd make like a 200 300 foot deep cut uh, probably not 200 300 foot they would still climb a fair bit but they would they would cut probably 50 foot 60 foot and that saves you so much height i mean 60 feet right talking about 10 percent, that's still 600 feet of run at 10%, you know, so you yeah. talk about, okay, well, actually, they're trying to keep it to maybe 4%. You're talking about a significant savings in challenge there. Why is that? So what the heck is this? That's so weird. They're like, okay, never mind. No, it's just because never mind. It looks fine. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out the uh, the position of all this stuff. It's uh. I, I did not make I, I attempted it I did not make the hill on the first uh, first Oof. attempt so <laughs> I know a lot of people they like you're saying you like running track down I'm kind of weird I like to running track up because I don't know okay I mean and then and then I go back and redo it if I don't make it so see that um, that's the nice thing about going down with it is like okay you just have to just keep looping until you make it like you, you're right. not going to run into obstructions in the you old pick days and go it, this is all kind of nonsense because in the old days they would have just surveyed like, they, the they would know the it. route before they go chop down before a single tree laid, and, yeah, yeah they would survey everything and that makes sense but you know when you're talking about a video game trying to add like a surveying step in as you know surveying engineers would be like oh my god yes and then everyone else would probably be like no it would be why? nice to be able to like like place ghosted track though rather than yeah actual, right and then and then, and then finalize it. it that would that like, would be oh. really nice i agree that way you can like you modify do... it and tweak it in place before it's yeah exactly yeah. like tweak it before you actually like assemble it and that way you could like get a rough idea of what it's going to look like and then go oh no that's going to be ridiculous for this or or no that'll that'll probably yeah, work am... and then yeah that'd be a, that'd be a really good system oh i'm actually just hanging off the cliff here with this that's sick nice <laughs> i am I am too far over. Is this what I've uh, heard. yeah, this back grove at the coal mines pretty big. Okay, Dude, it's massive. You got tons of room back there. You could easily got do all something. these rooms for activities. 
Yeah. Do you remember what you did at my coal mine on the ESD? Where I made the statue? The statue, the modern art. It's still there. Yeah, you're not, you're not, are you making a statue or? Uh, no, I probably won't make a statue. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see what I feel like. But I, I love that statue. It was a beautiful, a beautiful stack of beautifulness. We, uh, I recently had some of my channel members go through and they rebuilt the whole ESMD for me on the new splines, which was very sweet of them. Uh, and they left the statue. They left the homage de con. So it's, uh, it's still there despite the rest of the railroad being up. Yeah, man, that statue's worth that. That statue's worth money. Okay. It right? cost, cost a lot to commission. It did. It did. And, uh, genuine Canadian art. Yeah. Yeah. We all know, we all know Canadian art is worth a, a pretty penny. Cricket sounds. <laughs> exactly. Dude, there was like a painting that was held in like the National Art Gallery of Canada, and it was literally just like three striped colored lines. And it was like 40 million or something that we paid uh, for it. And dude, I was like, so... what are, like, what are we doing? And they're like, oh, well, if you stare at it, and then you look at a white wall, you'll see the inverted colors. And it's like, yeah, I had a book when I was six years old that told me that too. Like, I'm not, for you don't less see than $40 million. For, for yeah. less than $40 million. Like, I don't understand what we're, you're paying for like a really terrible basic optical. Like, I don't, I don't get I don't it, yeah. understand the economy behind fine art stuff. Like when somebody has got a lot of skill and they can do a, like a very nice painting or a really nice piece of artwork or whatever in any media, be it digital, whatever. And, and, Either it's a representation yeah, I, I of something it, or, or it's their expression. Okay, I can understand that. But when it gets into the, like the abstract stuff and the, oh, like, oh, this is art and it's, you know, it's so simple like that. And it's like, okay, well, how does how does that fetch money? And like, how did that person? We're like, just, we're not I don't get it. Though. I'm not, like, yeah, we're not my, cultured enough. My fiance is into like high fashion as well. Like not oh, buying okay. high fashion, but she like follows it and like knows, you know, uh, like no, no, I don't know, knows designers and all that. Like she just follows it, right? Like she doesn't, you know, she doesn't okay. buy these. She's into the things. the culture of it, the yeah. culture of it. And I just, I've, I've asked her many times to explain it, and she's like, "Well, that's just fashion." And I'm like, "That's not an explanation." <laughs> you did not answer me in my engineering answer, mind here. Yeah, you didn't answer the question of like, like, like you know, you see someone come out with like a garbage can on their head, like basically my cost, you know, my whole, my whole like logo and all that, and they're wearing a garbage can. And she's like, "Oh, well, that's fashion," and I'm like, "No, that's 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 a garbage." That's, that is can. a human with a garbage can on their head, on literally. your on your head. I don't. They, they're literally like, wear that anywhere. And and it's worth millions of dollars. I just don't get it. I just don't. Yeah, I yeah. I don't. I we're don't not understand. cultured. Heist. That's uh, we're not problem. cultured. Uh, I'm simple. I drive a big V8 muscle car. Yeah. I like to drink whiskey and play my guitar. There you go. And and you <laughs> and you wear overalls on a and regular I, basis. To work. I do wear overalls on a regular basis when I'm not yeah. using a not wearing the uniform. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> You know, we're just, you're just not a man of culture. I'm sorry. That's just I, yeah. not. I've, I've, I'm very far. High fashion is very much the opposite of me. And this was yeah. something uh, that I did not understand with my ex. She'd always be like, oh, you need to dress nice. And I'm like, uh, but uh, we're just we're like, what's wrong with my Led Zeppelin t-shirt? I don't get it. Yeah. I don't compute. I did my hair. I, bro, what else I, is going I, on? I'll, I'll wear <laughs> nice clothes if we're going to a nice thing. Like, right, yeah, I'll, okay, we're doing I'll a fancy up. a fancy thing. Yeah, okay, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll be a respectable person, but yeah, the high, I don't understand high fashion. I never never yeah. have, never will. I'm just not, I'm not sophisticated in any way. Yeah, I don't, I don't put my pinky up when I raise my glass, so not fancy. I'm, I'm not, I'm not that level either, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. Man, I am so close to making this corner. It's like I've, I've been spending all my time so far just working on this one corner. I don't know how far you are, but... I got uh, the start of the switch lead to the yard, the throat of the yard figured out, uh, and I've got one lane that runs by the unloading and loading that's set up, but uh, now I've just been on a rampage of chopping down trees because I don't know how long I can make the lanes because I don't really know like what the end of the space is, so... Uh, I'm just burning it all down. I'm chopping all the trees down. Gonna have plenty of firewood if the trees made firewood. JPEG. So <laughs> I'm I'm like really close to. I'm gonna redo this piece, and then I should be able to redo the next piece, and then I'll make the first corner, and then that'll be wonderful. There you there's go. still I noticed in this game there's still the issue which I don't know what the deal is with it. Um, when you place a piece of track, it still does the thing where. Um, 
sometimes like you'll you'll change the radius and the steepness changes you know what i mean like right it's, yeah and it's like it's something weird with the calculation so i i don't know if our 10 percent is necessarily truly truly 10 percent, it might be worse yeah right like right now i'm laying a track over the existing track and i'm higher up even though i did it both times at 10 percent. so i don't yeah there's there's some artifacting that comes in there where you're anytime you're involving a curve the math literally makes the inside rail go higher than the outside rail right because if you're, right. if you're setting it on center it's always yeah. going to do that and so like, then I you have to just, compensate for it and radius. yeah it uh it gets worse and worse the steeper and sharper you go so like with a lot of things railroad and a lot of railroad calculations both on the civil side and on the operational mechanical side uh, there's a lot of assumptions made where okay well it's a train it's only going to go up a two percent so if you look into the way that we approximate like tonnage math and tonnage calculations they make perfect sense and they're approximate enough that they work at one two three percent four percent you start getting towards ten percent beyond and the math starts to break down because we're not doing a true approximation you know we need to be using like a an actual sinusoid or tangent function or something my buddy jake is going to watch this and his head's going to explode and he's going to be screaming at me why didn't you take more math in college i'm bad at it sorry jake you know this anyways uh, I, I'm <laughs> I, math was like my one strong suit it was like you know for some reason math just clicked for me I, I, did, I actually did okay in it. Uh, I say I did bad in math, but I actually got A's in all of the math classes I took. I just didn't take uh, as many classes because I, I didn't really care for it. It's not that I wasn't good at it. It was just not my thing. I preferred right. the uh, the more hardcore engineering that applied the math and stuff. So anyway. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still having a bridge nightmare over here, but you know, it's I, I could believe it. It's fine. It's fine. It's like the struggle of trying to like, I'm trying to hug the cliff edge of the iron mine, but the, uh, you can only go over so far because then the supports don't reach anymore. So you're stuck with that issue. And yep. then once you get to that, like, then I have to curve back at a 60 meter radius and I should just go to like 50 meters and it'll be easy, but I'm trying to curve back at 60 so we can at least like keep her full pinned, you know? Yep. And, and I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a struggle. But anyway, so... we'll get there eventually. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this because there's definitely space for a loop if I wanted to loop. There's space for a... I know I could have really long shunt lanes and I could have a really small Y, like a Y just for the engine so we don't have to use a turntable if we don't want to. Right. Um, or I could have shorter shunt lanes and a bigger Y so we could Y a portion of a train or a whole train depending on... Ideally, if you have the space to Y a whole train, that would be the... That's the. I think that might be the ticket. So I might make the Y or, or as big actually, as I no, can. that's not true. We just need to be able to to, to have Spin lanes the long enough around. to park the train. Yeah, run a run around. That's all we need. Yeah. Okay, so I can I could do the short Y and then the long lanes. As long as we have long lanes, that's the thing. Because we want to be able to like it's going to be a mission to get to the coal mine up this ten percent. We're going to bring nonsense. as much junk as you possibly yeah, can. Yeah. So we're going to want to bring as much junk and and be able to stage as much junk and not have to worry about that and my god this is uh this is a that's a that's a that is a bridge oh i've got 45 degree crossovers that i can play with in this line now too don't i, I this is just gonna that. make this valley look so much worse when you're at the helper station you look up you see all these bridges going up to the iron mine and then you just see more bridges going past the iron mine and just an aggressive <laughs> it's just like what what in dear god's name yeah, is this railroad what were they thinking when they built this Sniffing any any reasonable glue. person would have just cut the terrain at some point, <laughs> called it a day. Right. Or honestly, I feel like if you had an iron mine up in the mountains, like, wouldn't you just... I, I've seen this a lot. Like, I know in Britain they had one where they had this big, like, conveyor chute system that just brought the iron down. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, you, you don't... You don't load it on the mountain you bring it down no, so you just bring it down the mountain with gravity through a, some sort of a chute system and then you load it down below yeah like, that's, the, there's, that's the easy way to do that there's actually some really cool stuff around colorado that you can still go see that represents that there's um <laughs> we heard legends that there was a giant orbin still standing near creed colorado when we were down at the cumbrace and toltec and creed's kind of in the middle of nowhere but really neat little old mining town and Oh my god, that thing was so impressive. We drove around trying to look for it, figure out where it was, and all of a sudden you're just there and it's like, you think of the coal mine or the iron mine in Railroads Online, and now imagine it like 25 times bigger, 
And that's what it was. And they had the mine up on the hill and they had like uh, carts, the, like mine carts to dump the tailings and a little like mining railroad thing. And they had like some aerial trams and stuff to move stuff around. It was kind of crazy and involved. But then this giant ore bin that the railroad pulled up to and then ran down from uh, so that they could bring everything down off the mountain, not have the train go do this ridiculous thing. So it was easy for the railroad, but the, the mining facility was like, holy crap, that's so impressive. It was really, really cool. All Dig right, I had to go to maybe. 57 meters. What's 57 on your turn radius death chart? Oh, let me let me pull it up. It shouldn't be too bad. 57 should be pretty Yeah, pretty I was slick, like, I'm honestly. not going to keep running this to save a three meter radius. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, I'm, I'm close enough where it's like, I just got to just kind of go with it. I got to, man, I got to scroll back up in our chat for a long time to find that. I know. Right? 57 meters is a 31 degree curve. So oh, that's not. That's you can't not. you can't run a K37. Well, you can run a K37 around it. It's not designed for it, but they've, it's been done. So you could run a pretty big honka choo choo around that thing still. Yeah, it will be fine. It'll 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 be fine. I mean, for the purposes of the game, it'll definitely be fine. So. For sure. Oh boy, 10% is fun to run. <laughs> you don't you don't think 10% is that steep? until you look at it from the side and then you go oh my god oh yeah that's like, uh that's bad 10 percent is not uh not super train happy though it exists and people have it around there's plenty of railroads that have ridiculous grades like that that is definitely a thing that happens so <laughs> okay so i think i'm gonna build nested switches here the the shunt lane the yeah okay i think i i think i know what i'm doing maybe maybe i don't maybe i don't know what i'm doing i'm trying to keep I, the uh the load unload like a run through track and then and then let the other lanes be the unmessed with lanes i think oh what the heck so i'm building the y off of the end of the these shunt lanes that's good I think they're going to end up turning just a little bit because that's that's what's going on here. Let's see. Edit radius T. All right. Well, I made it to the first half of the hill at least. So that's that's something. And it seems to be okay. It's uh it's it's going to be you're gonna need a some sort of a helper engine for sure <laughs> to make it up this with a fully loaded because we're bringing beams wooden beams which are lighter than lumber which is nice but we're bringing iron rails which are heavier than iron beams so yeah that's gonna it's gonna get spicy gonna heavy. man yeah it's gonna be very very heavy going up this but I mean realistically it's a very short climb because it's ten percent so we just gotta you know kind of do it. And then once we're up, we're we're good to go. Now, of course, the question is, how do I get through this? The rest of this nonsense. Got to go back to zero meters. I'm using circle mode. Be proud of me. I uh, dude, I only build in circle mode now. It's amazing. I love it. It's actually, yeah, it's it's really solid. It's a really easy way to just lay out your stuff and. And like you can do straight track easily, you can do curve track easily, like it's everything's just easier. Okay, that's nice. Perfect. I do really appreciate that you can change which side the uh, the track snaps on or the switches snap on now. Agreed. I haven't really built with that feature too much yet, and that's Big just... shunt yards. I used to have to do so much nonsense for shunt yards and now it's just nothing. Right. Like none of that. Well, so we cannot clear the mountain at ten percent. Wow. Are, Are you, you serious? kidding me? Uh, you, you can't one shot clear it anyway. I gotta loop around further, oh my God. and then come across. Oh this my rail God. alignment's going to be absurd, dude. That's insane. I thought I tried this once before, just in my own time, just to test it out and see, like, hey, could I do it? And I tried it at six and a half percent, and there was no way. And then so I was like, all right, so let's do it at like eight. And like, I know people are gonna say, well, you just gotta helix like six times. And I'm like, I don't, I really don't want to have to helix like around six times. But yeah, if you do it, if you try and do it like straight where you just kind of S-bend, like S one way and then S back, it's it doesn't climb. It's not enough. That's insane. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This is a really, really tall cliff. If we could cut 20 feet, 
we could make it. Right. And that and that's exactly what the railroad would have done. Yeah, if we could have cut like 20, 30 feet off the top, we'd be okay. I'm gonna go to there and see where- I'm detailing, I'm making piles of snow over here, okay? Look at that not oh, gonna, floating like, bumper. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm curious to show up. I'm expecting to show up at the at the coal mine and have it like designed like a children's scribble that you'd put on the refrigerator, you know? Like, wow, just, uh, wow, I see how it is. Uh, that's I what I'm expecting, based on what Look, you've been saying. Heist made it, it's so cute. Yeah, Heist <laughs> made a train stop. <laughs> I'm actually kind of happy with how it's turning out so far. I'm not happy with how the track doesn't want to link to anything right now, but. Uh, try and line up the alignment beforehand as if, like, in the direction that it should be, you know I'm what I mean? I'm trying to and start then... linked right now, and it's, yeah, uh, yeah, it's not, uh, not doing a thing. I guess I'll build the Y from the other leg, perhaps. How far can this go? Oh my god, that still doesn't clear that? Are you serious? This is close. What's the, what am I gonna, I'm gonna hit stuff there. Holy cow, bro. 10%, man, 10 I gotta curve back out and then cut back in. That's what's gotta happen. This can't be straight. Unbelievable how much it's ridiculous. Height, height you have to conquer. Oh, I so, need another switch anyways. Oops. Real narrow gauge railroads, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you come across a sheer cliff yep. and you're like, I gotta get to the other side of that sheer cliff. Uh... Okay, I don't know how I just deleted that, but I did. But what would you what do? You? Like, what's your situation there? If you got a sheer cliff, you can find a way around the cliff, or like, do you just you just go for it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, do you just helix a ton, like hanging off the side of the cliff. They've they've, they've like done a bunch of different things. Every road tried different stuff. If it was really really ridiculous, they would do switchbacks. And even like the Rio Grande, just even up the Mighty the Grand did thing. switchbacks to to get up and keep the grade reasonable. Um, but some how big is your switchback lane? Like, how many cars could you fit in a switchback lane with? You have to go past the switch, right, and yeah. then turn around and the, go uh, back. The switchbacks that the Grand did were actually pretty honking large. It was pretty impressive because they uh, they had switchbacks to get to the limestone mine at Monarch, and so they right. had to climb up with empty cars. But I mean, they had the big K's, and they'd usually have two trains running it at once, two locomotives. Uh, with two cuts of limestone cars and you know these these are i guess they were high side hoppers but are guns and they used you know god they probably had 10 15 something like that at least uh which is pretty crazy so they were uh, definitely big, pretty big long switchback. they weren't they weren't short switchback lanes that's for sure nothing wants to link to the switch so i'm gonna make this switch go bye bye we're gonna, we're gonna start over. Yeah, I've had that issue a few times too. There's nothing you can. Oh boy. Uh, well, heist. This is gonna be a route. That's uh, that's for sure. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a route. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. it is gonna be. It is gonna be something. We are going to. Yeah, we are going to take. Oh god, this is gonna be. This is gonna be interesting for sure. Never I've, tried building this route before, like other than in my own. Like I've never actually run a train over this this pass before. Oh really? Yeah. It's, Gotta come back to like the, a, the original ES and D man. <laughs> is a, it seems like a bad idea. Yeah. Oh my god, is this gonna make it? It very much Holy is. Holy cow! Bad I'll idea. make it there. Let's go. Well, maybe. Okay, I have an idea. I should have built that the other way. Wow. On the tangent yeah, track I, I've first. I've never done that route before. It's kind of cool, cool, but I, I really wish I got just a, just a little bit. Right. At even small cuts would be so much easier. But I mean, it, yeah. the Unreal Engine really just does not like altering terrain. Maybe Unreal Five. You know, there's stuff with like voxels and whatever. But a lot of that stuff doesn't work terribly well with multiplayer and there's, you know a whole bunch of things that go into it. Oh my god, really? Why is why is that? Why does it does it Oh it doesn't lay like that, okay. So close. I and literally I, need to cut like <laughs> ten feet. Like I can see the rail going into a mountain and coming yeah. the other side, and I just can't You know, like that's the way I got to go through right there. But just, I just I can't oh my god, I'm so close. Alright. I'll I'll get this. We're we're just almost there. I believe in you. I don't believe in me, but that's okay. I believe in the heart of the cards. 
the heart of the cons. I really wish I could just get up to 11% temporary. I'll just be like, here's 11. <laughs> just these go to 11. Why don't, why don't you make 10 a little louder and make 10 the top? These go to 11. All right, Heiss. I uh, I made it to the top. Of, I cleared, you've made I, it to the summit? The summit of the saddle? I cleared the pass. It is a, I barely clear it. Um, it it goes 10% the whole way. Shallows to 8% on the final bridge. I have some corners that are 55 meters, so they're a little little tight. Um, but that's still pretty good. I mean, that's, you were saying that's like 32 degrees or something? Yeah, 30 32 degrees. degrees. It should be fine. We're not going to yeah, run K-37s not... over this. We're not going to have K-37s. No, but it is, so. it is. This pass is nuts. I can't believe this pass. Like it's, yeah. it, There's like one cut in the mountain, and that's the cut I'm taking. And you're and still ridiculous. so far away. I can see the giant cliff above where you are, but I can't yeah. see you. I, I I've not see... made it terribly far over here either. <laughs> okay, there's. I see the coal mine. Well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hug the right side of the cliff and just come down the right side um, until I get to the coal mine. Because that's, that's pretty much... That's smart. I was building. That's all we have to do. I've been working on this Y the whole time, and uh, that's okay. It, Take your time. It it turned into some heist track, and I felt like that was just gonna make you mad. So I'm I'm trying to. Oh, I don't care if it's heist track. It's it. heist track. It's just uh, it's you fine. know. It's okay, fine. now I have to. Here's the catch, though. Now, I have to try and avoid doing any more ten percent shenanigans. Yeah, because you don't want to have steep grade on the downhill now, because no, if you I want, want to dump helper. your helper, yeah, there. I want to dump the helper and then bring it back on its own and let the yeah. road engine come back up two percent. So yeah, we need to make it nice and easy on the way down. Yeah, so that's what we're the, gonna try. Cult, the loaded coal trains, they're gonna be big too. Those are gonna be. We got enough hoppers. Like I want to, I want to be pulling some coal drags. We want to east broad top this stuff. Oh my god, I don't even know. The switch off is gonna have to be on like that. It's gonna be so far away that where the helper can actually get ditched. Because I don't wanna have like there's no way to build a switch. I okay, so I guess this is a question. Would they ever build switches on bridges? Is that ever a thing in um, narrow gauge? Not not a narrow gauge that I've ever heard of. It's definitely had to happen in some places before. And like you think of light rail transit and stuff. Uh, urban areas. Those like are automated that's, switches. That's like, like everywhere. That's... Automated switches too. Yeah, but like you, you just don't tend to have bridge switches just because you, that that's a sudden change in momentum and direction for the train while on an right. elevated structure, and you're building a structure out of timber. Like right. that's going to put so much stress on the bridge itself. It's it, it's not generally a good idea to do. And why did that track kink? Every time I've laid that track so far, it hasn't kinked. What is going on? <laughs> Sounds anyway. like ice is getting kinky. Always, you know me. Kinky. <laughs> All right, well, this actually should be pretty easy now. It's still really high up. Clearing this pass is kind of cool. Okay, um, I just did the same thing twice, and I got a different result, so I guess I am insane. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, this is... Uh, I feel like in real life, we would have done like a 200-foot cut in this hill, and then would have saved us a lot of bridges we would have thrown a bunch of dynamite at the hill and then we would have yeah. built the railroad from there like most of the narrow gauge solved the problem with dynamite and then dynamite and or you know uh vaguely handpicks. slave labor uh pick yeah bad uh bad yeah. stuff from you know I mean, 1800s other, the... was a different time okay folks <laughs> yeah well, there's two it's actually it's interesting the canadian railroad was built by mostly like asian immigrants uh, uh same with the, the transcontinental railroad lots of lots of chinese yeah, a lot of a lot of asian people they were like Irish giving folks. them incentives to come over and basically build railroads which i thought was interesting uh that's about all i know about it from history class back in like elementary school so yeah right yeah the railroads back in that era were not uh not necessarily the most uh equal opportunity and uh and good yeah so okay so remember how you were talking about doing like potentially at some point in time like way future future plans for mm -hmm. if we wanted to do a, a line directly from the coal mine to the ironworks because oh, obviously yeah. the coal mine only delivers product to the ironworks you're, you're at the saddle right now you're at the I'm place at the where saddle, that makes sense and i'm above it on this line at two percent so we would have to make a line that goes under it yeah, build build a bridge there. That's what when I did that line on the this whole Oferi, thing is bridges right well, now. Oh goodness, okay. 
when I when yeah. I did my first playthrough, that's how I did it very early on, and I had that bridge, and it was like a hundred feet high above the the line on the saddle that went down over, and yeah, even was, that was still ridiculous. This bridge is huge. Dude. Oh shoot! Gonna you know like you're gonna you're gonna have to be really careful if you're coming. What are you coming down at? Two or three percent? Two two percent. Two percent. I want to say when I did that line uh, originally from where you're going to the coal mine, I want to say I had to do four or five. So you might need. You might still need a helix in your future, friend. Well, we'll find out, I guess. We'll see I guess. what happens. I've Not built enough. a I've built a nice Y here. I'm I'm proud of the tail tracks of this yard and and how flexible this yard's going to be so far. So, That's good. Well, we'll see kind of how this uh, this develops as I go through. I'm just going to fill in the passing lanes, which isn't going to be too much rocket science, so shouldn't be too hard here. I think I finally found a spot where I might be able to switch off like put a headshot get rid of the helper okay not sure it's not really that flat oh, oh that's, that's the alignment of the tree. switch can't be like this i gotta put a curve here first i can't just have one nice i mean i guess track. i could i could go back and redo this at three percent down that would probably make more sense right yeah we might want to do three percent like two is two is gradual but at least three like you know we're gonna have presumably more powerful engines when we get to the coal mine so yeah it'll three, save me a lot of a lot will, of height yeah yeah i think i think you're really gonna want it so all right i'm gonna go back to the the zero percent clear and come down at three i'm gonna go back to the drawing board i'm gonna figure out how to get these switches in and i think that'll be all right that. well we'll be back after these short messages from our sponsors talking about slacks slacks get them here now with pockets what do you mean, slacks? Pants are pants. We're talking. Wait, wait, we can't talk about fancy pants. Well, I, I don't know what kind of a, like, you wouldn't have had, it would have been newspaper ads, right? Right. And then radio ads. Oh, you're, ta you're talking about 1800. Okay, you're making a joke. There wouldn't have been, there wouldn't have been telegram ads. You, or would there? Like, <laughs> the you've had so much just ads over the telegram. <laughs> Oh, we're getting a message. Boop, 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 boop. And it's oh, spam. Man, I, I hate these spam, spam telegrams. Those damn telemarketers with their telegram. <laughs> Literal telemarketers. Oh, Lord. Okay, we'll be back after these. These aren't made like girly pants. Nay, Scottish slacks are made with hemp and woolen fibers. Perfect for the long, cold winters of the north. They make wearing pants such an unpleasant experience you'll wish you owned a kilt. They're guaranteed to be the biggest pants in the house. They work best in temperatures of 10 degrees below. If you don't have the McGuinness, you'll walk like a man. Ah, my new pants are on fire! Hey, your slacks just arrived. 1-800-SLACKS? They can't have my brand. I have special legs. Slacks? Peasant talk. All of my clothing is custom tailored. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a mining consortium to get back to taking over. Hey Heist, you know that song, She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain, when she comes? Uh, is it gonna be- Oh my god, there he is! It's look coming. At look, at, look at this coming around the mountain when she comes. I mean, I, I don't see the spline on my end, but here oh, you right. are. I see this is actually <laughs> really, it's a really good spline. Hold on a minute. Let me get to it. Like, oh my here. god, it's just giant bridge. Oh, it, okay. You're just going to... That uh, cliff wall? Okay. Yeah, well, no, I'm going to I'm gonna go to the concrete, the brick stuff. Oh, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Brick. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be close. Hopefully look, it'll man, work with that 3% oh, no, I got the this, Oh my god, where are you? You're, oh, you're over there. Oh no. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> we could reverse I can go, this lead. I can go, no, I can go tighter. I can go tighter. I can go to 60 degrees. I, I thought you were going to be too low and you were going to come down. No, look at it. I'm actually thing. good height here. Look at that. That's, uh, that's wonderful. Uh, okay. Well, if we have to adjust the lead switches, we can. We can We can go a different way. But As long as we can keep it 60-ish. Uh, that's, that's uh, we might need to fix that first switch. Because well, if we the, have the first switch, you know what I mean, like the opposite orientation, then, uh, yeah, they're all they're all lined. Like it's it's the whole lead. I built the whole thing. Yeah, I'm so. trying to think how we, how you could we could we could it. flip flop it so that the lead runs the other way. You'd have to turn this one into a. You'd have to okay. So you'd have to have this line come out straight, and then have the other lead come off this one straight. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then curve into the load line. You know what I mean? So like your middle point. Yeah, saying. yeah. So your middle I point's there. Yeah, that'll be the easiest, easiest fix. 
Let's see if this will do what I it want. It should to work do. that way. You know what I mean? And then yeah, hopefully these switches. I, I yeah, okay, they do. They line up well enough. Hopefully the train, train. Kind of like the way that. we did the smelter. That'll be yeah. That'll be the and then we do another deal. one of these boys, and and this will actually make a better delineation for what's what's a pass through and what's a loading line too. True, true. Because like it's just yeah. Yeah, because all of the I, I put I put too many tracks. There's too many tracks in here. We don't need all these tracks. But that's I, fine. I set it up. You never, so that... you can never have too many shunt yards. Like that's the that's what I'm learning. That is true. About railroad. So, it's always like, nice to have a place to stick a train. <laughs> wow, this actually this actually doesn't even need to be full three percent, dude. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. It actually shallows so, out. Look at that. Boom. Okay. Shallows out. There Done. it is. All right. And it's not even that's not even sixty. You technically that's finished so before me because I had to edit mine. Oh, you just gotta. You should a, delete your load kink. back. Look at this. See this? Kink? It like kicks out and then comes yeah, yeah. back a little bit. There you go. I and wish I could cut a smaller section. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. I know if you could delete it section by section, that'd be so much better. Well, I mean, right, technically, you do delete it section by section. Got... But the sections are long. Holy cow! You built a whole. Oh my god! You got okay. So you got four extra shunt lanes. Yep. You've got a switch off facility with a good god. That's a steep curve. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a sixty. It's a spicy. It's it looks spicier than it is. But oh, that what, oh that other one, the reverse is is whatever it is. So it's a little spicy. The one but going to this side to load the logs up. Yep. That's cool. And then you but put I figured a, it's uh, it's a little industrial thing. You're gonna bring one car there. You're gonna bring it with a little little switching engine. It's fine. Yeah. And then you got a turntable. Turntable uh, engine house. We're going to have to build up the foundation under this stupid thing because it's currently floating. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, it'll be a, that's a future project to deal with, the foundations or whatever. Okay, and then what do you got going back here? You got all your shunt switches so coming. So shunt switches come through this nested switch to here. You've got, this is from the loading and unloading line. And then the Y is separate, so you can be turning something while someone else is coming through here. Oh, you did a Y to t so we can turn around the edges of the table. Oh, we, could, cool. we could do the table or the Y. So if you want to come out the shop and, and you're coming out of the red house, you can do it. Or if you want to go, you know, pull through, finish cool. your load, just run the engine around the Y and then run around the train, you're set to do that because you can get to any your of the y, other lanes from it. This is, this is a very small. Yeah, you're going to fit an engine on it and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, you'll, you should fit, fit the biggest engines we have in the game currently. On I was pretty things. sure it, it, it's just enough space, so. Yeah. <laughs> worst case, like, since the route the route up to here is 55, so worst case, I'm assuming these are 60 curves. We could make them, like, 50s or 55s. The, this is a 38 <laughs> on this 48? leg. Yep. That one on the other side, I think, is a 40 or a 45. So. Okay, well, good thing this is a, uh, a it's shunt a, it's, it's, it's not a main line. It doesn't have to go fast. Okay, so then, then you've got the head shunt here for when you're flipping around with the white. What's this head shunt for then? I just figured so, somebody who's switching out the yard would switch out the yard through this drill track. So somebody could still be coming in uh, and, you know, unloading a train, wiring their engine while someone's working the yard and then they're, they're, they don't get in each other's way. Oh, I see. You built fill here, but you can apparently clip right Yeah, the, the fill doesn't actually have collision. So Yeah, that's kind that's, of interesting. Uh, a, little, a little strange. I think if the end caps don't have collision for some reason right there. All right, cool. Well, this is neat. It's a nice little yard. I like it. <laughs> Look, he likes it, guys. I was so worried. It's... Well, no, I, I, I didn't know what you were talking about when you said an engine Y. That makes total sense. So I guess you would do that in yards if you have more space for it. Yeah, like, you'd, it's... you'd prefer to do this than actually use a table because using a table in everyday operation, running on and off Whoa. of it, you hammer the crap out of the bearings. So right. it's actually likely a location like this wouldn't even have a table and they just have a Y. I mean, it's way cheaper to just build a, a three point turn than it is to build a turntable. Yeah. And you just put a, you could just put a switch here and have it go straight into the house. Yeah. So we could always do that too. If we just want to do that. But I thought I, having I, a little flexibility, I, I, have, gonna, either, we're going to, we're going to, we got to do it. We should, we should do it. We should, we Sold. Do it. Let's use the Y then. No, no, no the like, tables, no caps. I feel like we have we have tables at the helper station, which people are already complaining about. We have tables at. Oh, what happened to that track? I deleted the track because I think it's got to be a little bit shorter. Oh, okay, I'm guessing. Um, so. but yeah, we got we got tables like everywhere else, like helper station. We got one at the smelter. Now I kind of want to go back and put a Y at the smelter too. To be honest, I feel like that would be right. The way you, because the smelter's got lots of space for, eh, whatever. This future, oh, so my need to go back be even, even shorter than that. All right. Yeah, because the switches are ginormous. 
I want short switches. I want short switches and signs and passenger cars. Those are the next three, three things I want to see out of this. Okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, QMA. Please make. No problem. Get on that. All right. Yeah, this will be a lot, like, a lot more, uh, a lot more spaced out. Is that, that links? Perfect. Link. Oh, nice. Yep. You got it. Excellent. Yeah, that Look at better. that. That looks pretty good. Perfect. We, I guess the water tower's on the switch. It'll probably work. We could we should probably put it over here somewhere. Oh yeah, true. We could just move it to like more of the front side right Yeah, whatever. On the opposite side of the uh, I was trying to keep everything on the one side because I thought it looked cool, but that's it's fine. Yeah. Oh, I like I like using the Y. I like that idea. Let's it's, put it's that neat. there. Something different. I'll just uh, put up some foundation here, I guess, while we're doing that. Yeah. So this is, I mean, this is way overbuilt, but you know, when we want to do a hundred car coal train, we'll be set up for it. So, I mean, screw it. We, I, I think like the way we're setting up these industries is great, especially because we're going to have like really treacherous helper routes. So we're going to want to like, you know, maximize our potential with each, you know, each individual trip. Right. Actually, there's only enough coal stored at the coal mine for 75 cars, so we're gonna have to build up. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's that's our limit then. That's what we're we gonna know. we're gonna have to. Well, you could build up a stockpile of materials though, so you know. True, and then just wait until they all unload and stuff. Yeah, you could have one shunt lane filled with, uh, with rails and beams ready to change it out. Oh, so it's beams. It's not lumber here. Rails. Yeah, and beams. yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's beams. At least it's lighter. A little, a little bit different, which is interesting. All right, well, I built up the embankment around the one side, so at least it's not death. There's still a little hole in the back, but, uh, you know, it's for drainage. That's why there's a... It's the drainage the, hole. It's fine. Yeah, drainage yeah. hole. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. It's, it's... Yeah, now that there's not a turntable there, we can obviously move the shed somewhere else. But it's there. It's connected. It works. Yeah, it's fine. It does, it does look kind of like we had all this field space. Why did we build the shed on the edge of the cliff? But, you well, know. Well, you know, giant switches. Oh, stuff. Um, my route, it, it needs some work at some point. I'm sure there's some spots we have to smooth out, but nothing's worse than 55. So let's warp back to the iron mine or helper station. Helper, helper station. Let's grab the goat. Let's run the goat. Yeah. I'm going to pop a save real quick just to make sure. Good call. And, uh, I don't, I don't want to do it, but I think I should do it. Getting rid of the turntable. Gonna get rid of the turn. Oh, he's doing it. Well, I'll, I'll put some wood in the hole in this thing here. So we are we are changing our ways. Um, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be more in tune with how this stuff would have been done back in the day. I support. Wouldn't this. necessarily have a turntable here. Just have a little head shunt area, something like that. Nice little fifty degree. Cause screw it, and then put a bumper. That plus now I won't accidentally run the track, run the train off the track. Um, does the goat not have a headlight, or is the headlight somewhere else? Did you steal our headlight? No. Does it not have a headlight? It's not rendered on my end. The platform is, but there's no headlight. <laughs> the box is gone. Yeah, what? There's no headlight. Oh, there's none on your end either? It's not just no, a client no site headlight. issue? How did, how did we, how did that happen? I don't there know. Was, when we bought it? I'm pretty sure you can't, I thought it, we had a headlight with this thing. All right, well, you got to back up. I, for some reason, I can't place a stopper here, so I got to figure that one out. Uh, hold on, let me just get a... My water's still heating up anyway, so, you know. Oh, perfect. Yeah, well, I could me... go on a, a vicious search to figure out what happened to our headlights. Oh, the backup light's gone too, but the fire is still there. The flame for the backup light is floating <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. breaking the game currently, I think, is what's currently happening. That's probably what's going on. It's fine. This situation... Uh, can we, I just want to place this, but for some reason it's being very difficult. Can I, it won't, it literally won't let me link this bumper and I don't know why. Oh, hold on. I had a link there for a second. Ah, ha ha. There we go. I'm running with a piece of wood still. Oops. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Now there's no, the helper station doesn't have a headshot, but honestly, or it uh, doesn't have a, um, a turnaround. But honestly, I don't, I feel like we wouldn't have that here. Yeah, we're, we always we're, go down in reverse anyway. And if you need it to turn, you turn at the iron mine. Yeah, and the smelter. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna build a Y at the smelter. I'm gonna replace the turntable with a Y because there's so much space there. It's like right. It just would be cool. Yeah, there's no. There's no backlight either. Wow, this is. Uh, is the flame there on your end? Yeah, the flames here. Yeah, it's just a floating. Well, I'm floating. glad we saved because the odds of us crashing are probably pretty high. I'm gonna save again just to be safe. That that is the um, that is the floating flame. Uh, the the 
uh, eternal flame of the engine. It's what keeps the engine moving. Uh, oh, it's forever. like a pilot light. Okay. It's like a pilot light, exactly. All right, so presumably, oh my god, that bridge looks so steep from here. It's ridiculous. Oh my right. god, I didn't even turn and look at that. Yeah. What the hell is that, Con? Well, I hit a tree. I hit a tree and got dropped off the edge. Wait up, I. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about your building that you hit a tree, and then I see a man running in the gauge behind me. It's fine. Yeah, no, I hit a tree. Okay, we're good. This You're is good. ridiculous looking, dude. Yeah, do you see that bridge up there? The like big hook, hook. Yeah, it's the the first thing that made me go, oh god, I didn't see that. I realized that was the iron mine bridge, and then I saw the coal mine yeah. bridge above it, and I went, oh my god! <laughs> you can actually see the difference between six and a half and ten. It's wonderful. Uh, yeah. Uh, it turns out it's steep. It's a lot. Yeah. But this would be cool. So now this helper station is going to be a bump in place. We're going to have to have like multiple engines there. We're really going to have to build that out into a whole town. That's how, that's how yeah. some towns ended up existing. There's there is a town in Utah called Helper Utah. And guess and it, what it is? It was a helper station for the railroad for the the grade climbing back into Colorado. I mean, to be fair, you could fit in that one engine shed. We could fit four gear trains, and I feel yeah, like yeah, really could. If we had one or two gear trains like that's going to be enough for anything we do up here get a couple oh my God, yeah, that, bridge looks, that actually looks like a freaking roller coaster this like some it's polar just... express crap dude look at that, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you see the other bridge in the background too this might have been a bad idea this is what i'm saying though we would have we would have done like a 200 foot cut uh cut in the train you know wouldn't have needed half that bridge the u yeah. railway approves either way yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty gnarly. I'm gonna actually uh, just uh, jump off here and make sure I can. I'll set the switch so we can just keep going. Oh, there is a switch. Oh, oh yeah, right, the the the, the, iron the, the entry switch. Yeah. Yeah, the only switch. Yeah, this is this is ridiculous, dude. I can't believe this. It's good though. Now we can start delivering coal, making some serious money. Right. While he's getting to the products to coal, and then we gotta deliver the coal down to the ironworks. Dude, but we're gonna have to bring rails up this. <laughs> yeah, but, but gear trains, bro. We just need gear trains. We're gonna need. I was thinking about getting us more hoppers, but the yeah, hoppers but we need to run to like hoppers up this anyway. Like it's you know, yeah. we have four hoppers. So if we run a set of four hoppers, we can pay for one hopper in just about one run. True. So I have three hundred bucks. Okay. But do we do we buy more hoppers or do we save for do we? I mean, we probably need a geared engine first, really. Well, we need a geared engine to do the 10%. I mean, that's going to be... That's going to be the... If we want to do any sort of load up the 10%, we're going to need something geared, right? Yeah. How much iron do we have, actually? That's a good question. We probably have... We just did Fair an iron... Home. probably have a bunch. We took iron back. I want to say we had 70 and we loaded... Yeah, we loaded We dumped 40. and then we loaded 40, so we should have, we have like... We 90, so we could do... 90 we could now. Five, four hoppers and then big iron runs. All right, so this is five percent and then ten right away. Just dunk! Oh, I, I oh, missed. You. Okay. Oh, I'll just uh, just turn the reg off. I'm gonna regret I that. Really don't you slow down a lot. Okay. All right. Perfect. Just the goat by itself is still fine. Oh, what is this? What is this Polar Express alignment up there? That's ten percent. Are you sure? Dude, this is all ten percent. This is absurd. You. Like, just looking at it in the distance is just like, yoink. I love the view down the valley, though. This is awesome. awesome. You can see everything behind yeah, us. The madness. <laughs> but yeah, it's 10%, 10%, climbing 10%. Making this corner was really tough. You can see we get right to the right end. Right like, kiss to, to the it. Head. The ties kiss the terrain there. Yeah. yeah. So that was, and, then, and then here we had to go out more just to be able to climb the rest of the 10%. That's why it looks weird from below, because it actually comes out at you. So it looks like it's steeper, but it's not. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and then we cut back in, and look at look at the clearance we're gonna have at the top, bro. It's gonna it's millimeters. I'm not. This is why this okay. took so long to play out. It's literally millimeters right here again. Tie just tie a again. little kiss. Yeah, 55 degree turns. I need to cut some trees. Yeah, I was gonna say this is this is the most direct I've ever done this path. I've done this path before with uh, with a five percent and a seven percent. And a, oh god, it just drops. It's just. Well, that's Boom, it's flat. It's now right. We're down. <laughs> I should we go. probably that out a little bit, but that's fine. It just goes dunk. If we send yeah. it too hard with the uh, the glen. Oh my god, we're gonna hit all these trees. 
Uh oh. Danger. Uh, Danger. Okay. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah, there it yeah. is. Oh, I forgot. Oh. Wee! <laughs> Uh, I will, uh, do you want to re-rail that? I'm gonna, I've forgot about deleting these I'll trees. I'll go, uh, re-rail that while you do some MOW and clear the bridge, uh, the, uh, load-bearing trees from your bridge. Yeah, that was, as, it, I oh, honestly I right totally haven't driven this track before, I totally forgot. Yeah, oops, that's fine. I should have braked, but, you know, I like to see what happens. It's fun. Oh, it, yeah, it got, I did, it, that was it. Uh, did I get out of range or something? Cuz or did you try and start to rerail it? No. Cuz it it canceled my rerail. I have to climb back up. So the... I'm, I'm on the bridge now. I I tried to climb to the to the bridge. Well, oh, I think that's the Well, end let me rerail it from here. Can I like click on it to grab it from here? No, that's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, I definitely smoothed out that top part where it just dunks from ten. To yeah, three. if we if we send it hard enough with the the Glenbrook, it might actually just get like get on. air. Yeah, which I mean, I want to try that, so don't fix it yet. Like, I want to try. No, that no, I'll wait until it becomes a real problem, and then we'll. Ah, like a good railroad. Yeah, just. Okay, right. yeah, I can't get back to the bridge with the rerail tool open, so you might have to do that, Mister Host, because the the locomotive's unrendering for me, and then it undoes the rerail tool. Okay. I don't know what to re-rail because it dis disappeared because it's 50 feet away from you. The render distance being small. so stupid. Someone so. said that you can up adjust the render distance in the options here. and I can? I, or I, apparently I can. They say it's a setting and I am not seeing it. So Commenters are lying. <laughs> Rerail tool, you're drunk. Rerail like, tool, you're drunk. I'm gonna end going at like 15 miles an hour. Uh, it's uh, it's not on the tracks on my end. It's not on my end either. It is it's sloped. Hey, there you All go. Right. Just gotta, Baby, just gotta come back. Dude, this uh, the 10 percent. Oh my god. God, when you're looking at it from a side view and, and the camera's tilted, you're like, why is my camera so messed up? And you're like, wait a minute. Oh, wait, that's just, just that's just what this is. Yeah. Yeah, that's just 10%. Mm -hmm. Yo, we are going to catch air on that, that, that 10 zero drop. I want to see it happen. Of... Yeah. Why does it feel like my camera's okay. tilted, too? Oh, it just is. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'm just going down, Steve. Really? Anyway, welcome back. You can drive again. Sorry, I was just. Oh, uh, okay. Getting her back on the, on the rails. Yeah, yeah, we cleared the trees. Trees. Hope there's no more. Uh, uh, so wonderful. Path. This is this interest. You were saying this is the spot where that's if the we saddle. To yeah. Line direct from the coal mine back to the uh, ironworks. We're gonna have to go there. Yep. That's the which low is spot. Interesting because that'll have to go below oh. this bridge. Which is hilarious. Which is hilarious <laughs> considering how high up we are. Or we just fork off this bridge somehow. But anyway, we can keep coming. We're gonna come to a switch here. I don't know which direction it's gonna be set in, so we might have to. Be really careful here. Okay. Not yet. We are just chugging all oh, this. Is those those drive go? Oh my yeah, goodness. The chuff loop is pretty high pitched. I wonder if this is just us going downhill or if the goat got uh, upgraded speed I feel like, too. I feel like downhill. Uh, here's the switch. We are really lined to the left. <laughs> so this is our, our head shunt where we would the drill track where we would drop off our helper. That's the one spot where it can happen. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> flat spot okay. too. So th this whole line is three percent max Comes back up to the ten percent death climb. So presumably, a, as long as we know the tonnage of our coal trains, we could the road train to get back up this. So uh, I like it. I don't. I don't. I feel like it's an issue. I'm gonna fill in this too with some fill because it should, you know be filled in. Right. Well, looks nice. Lots of bridges, but trying to hit, hug to the canyons right here is really challenging. Hold on, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. I see it. Hit, hit the, hit the, I, hit I hit the... it. Oh my god, you stopped on time, okay. <laughs> it's like, I've been, the brakes have been hit for a minute, sir. Okay, That's on. not the bad one. This next one's the bad one. 
Yeah, no, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I think there's, uh, you're good. Uh, there's another one across the trestle, but... Okay, I just gotta... Like, oh, well, I'll, I'll walk in, apparently, and just... I mean, I can stop and pick you up. Or I yeah, can just watch I, you from up here. Ones anyway, you can't get them from up top. I, uh, uh, yeah, MOW didn't do job. That's unfortunately. fine. That's fine. Really not, not. Oh, and then this hard. is the last curve in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Look, we're here. Yeah. And then we're back here at the final. Isn't that ridiculous? That is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I like it. The 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 ten percent section is the the winner of the ridiculous award, I think. Yeah. And then now we could come here in and do all our, our coal mine options. Coal mine. mine's huge. I love the, the uh the shot lanes here. That is great. A lot of space for activities. Yeah. Lots of activities. All right. Well, full steam in reverse, sir. We're, we can't help her around because. Uh, oh yeah. There's uh, no. We removed the places to turn. I mean, we could. We could turn it around here, and then we could turn it around to the iron mine. But that sounds annoying, and we're just one engine, so it doesn't really, really? matter. So in real railroad operations with a helper, would they run it down in reverse? Like that's what we're doing. I've usually heard about them turning it around, but it was um, with tender engines and and no sprung draw bars, so like you kind of had to because the tender would be just banging into you the whole way otherwise. Right, but, you have but but if it was like an 060 like this, yeah, it doesn't make a darn bit of difference. Yeah, yeah. or if you have a gear train where it's like you know two drivers that are both. Oh yeah, both, like, yeah you, wouldn't, really... you wouldn't care then. It's all just to go in the same direction. That makes... I I love this uh, this valley here. It's pretty cool. Me too. It's we pretty. just skip all of it by going around the outside. Yep. <laughs> just uh, bypass that check of the map. I have somehow right, right. still never built in my many playthroughs of this game. I have never built down the right canyon. I've never built there. That whole part of the map doesn't exist for me. Pretty. It is it's pretty. really long. It's just like, super like, long. You know, if you want to run that right canyon route, full mine. Oh that's what I did on my first world, and uh, it's it's pretty. pretty. It's just it's a very 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 long route. Um, and constantly you're, climbing at that. Route. Uh, just a real slight climb, yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not huge, it's but not enough. Yeah, yeah, this would be great. Lots of straight area here, so we can stop, stop. and let the helper engine get off and then back up the whole okay. way. Yep. <laughs> you know, it's only half half more than it had to be, I guess. But there's no, there's no place to put a switch, really, is there? You could build, unless, you could have built up like crazy it. embankment right here, maybe, and then tried to do it. But yeah, it's like I it's thought about that. That's why this bankment existed. Because I was like, maybe I could throw a switch here, but I was like, whatever. Set them much further to that other spot. Yeah, what's the difference at that point? Or you got one way at the top of this cliff, and okay. if you do that, you need like... Oh switch on a bridge or something which is just and you'd have to time it perfectly like if you're running a long train and you have the thing right at the top of the hill your helper's gotta basically get away while the train still has momentum to carry itself through the rest of it right like rest of the hill which just it'll seems kind of silly it'll be a little silly but it'll be fun i'm excited to give it a shot push everything. but yeah this is uh you got, are you full, you're full regin in reverse? Yeah, still full regin it. All right, I'm curious we're if we're gonna, we're gonna notice any air. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna see if we get air. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm looking right at the, the side of the drivers here. Yeah, get that side profile here. All right, well, that's as soon as I can go. Okay, yes, yeah. all right, here we go. Send it, get some air. Come on, train. Air. Nope. Nope. We need, we need that, uh, the Glenbrook and her, uh, oh yeah. god, bro, bro. Sorry, bro. I was looking at the valve gear. Bro, 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 bro. That's fine, that's what? fine. It's so fine. fast! It's fine, I don't know what you're on about. I was staring at the valve gear and I realized that this locomotive's perpetually stuck in forward. And that valve gear is not animated quite right. That's fine. <laughs> I need to do the Stevenson valve gear 101 video at some point. I, I'm slowly learning more little details about it and how it actually works and, and the real nuanced bits of it that I didn't understand before and I'm starting to feel more comfortable with it. So, gotta get to that video at some point. This yeah, I'm definitely gonna put an engine shed here off this turntable as well. bridge is redonkulous. Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. Just just gonna send it. Just That's the that's the climb. That is the that is it. There that it is. is the death of the entire track. <laughs> I love it. 
And now we just have to head back to smoke. Perfect! Now we can start delivering coal! So we either need to spend our money on better edges, or I guess we can spend our money on hoppers, deliver more iron, and, and then, then make more money more quickly. It just depends on like if we run a couple more trains and we have enough money for the geared engine, then it's like, okay, well that maybe that makes sense. But if it's gonna take a lot more trains to get there, maybe. I wouldn't mind getting a Heisler as the next gear engine, or even a Climax, and throwing it at the helper station, because then we can put the goat at the smelter. Right. And, which, and the like, Heisler, Heisler's got a five chime, so, I mean, I would advocate I, for that. Better whistle. Yeah, and it's, and, it's, and it's big and bulky and does the job. So, and maybe we should save up and get a Heisler after we get some coal, some more hopper cars, and just sort of do it that way. But yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. We're just going to park this in the engine shed. Yep. And, uh, you know, another another route successfully completed. This is, like, the way I see it, right? The way this sort of campaign is playing out. Um, we've got the, sort of the left side of the map where stuff is relatively normal. And then we've got the Iron Mine just death canyon. It's ridiculous. Just, just absolutely ridiculous. Every, every single yeah. bit of it. So, you know, you might as well just take it to the extreme. Yeah. I mean, if we could cut the terrain, I'd cut the terrain, but we can't, so... Here the, we are. You know, 10 percent or die yeah yeah oh, oh, oh no oh, or or die that's the dying part yeah well, there it is oh no, i'm stuck in the another, cab can i get out another up, up for highs it's fine another peek up all right i can rebrail this well let us know what you <laughs> oh no that's <laughs> oh, I, gotta flip it. I gotta flip it there we go here we are Perfect, but yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Check out Heist's channel, link in the description. Okay, bye Heist, don't bin at this. Bye, gotta... bye, bye Con, yeah. bye, bye viewers. Have, have a good day. Bye. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go home, back to the freight depot. <laughs>